Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Exo Force review, and this one's on uh, the uh, Supernova and Golden Guardian from 2006 and 7, of course. So, first of all, for the uh, two mini picks back there are. Uh, a little bit more. Okay, so first up, we would have a Takeshi, who is the same as from the Sentai Fortress, and a Grand Titan from this t uh, year 2006, of course. There's, and also have Hikaru, who is, or no, no, not Hikaru, Hayato, who would. Oh, which did also come in the Sentai Fortress and a couple others in both years. So, so he which didn't get much of an update for that. Well, at least until 2008 versions. But as you can see, that for Takeshi, torso printing done quite good. Hayato's also quite great, really good for that. But not at all neat leg printings for both of them. But as the hair pieces, just the same, uh, but in different colors, of course, and both face prints, and also the same as from um, other sets, of course, and also back torso printing, which is just the same as for this, just not at all any back torso printing thing for both of them, and also double side faces, also the same for both of them. But also, although I think Hikaru or Hayato, I think, should have had a, a little bit different version for this one since he was out the following year of 2007. But at least this was still kind of fair to get, but yeah. First off, we have the Supernova, which, as you can see, built kind of similarly to some of the mechs uh, put out in, to the, in this year of 2006, of course, like the leg builds and whatnot, or I mean, some similar features, and also the light-up feature as the others, but yeah. So, starting out with the legs here. Which, as you can see, built kind of similarly to some of the mechs, like the Grand Titan and Stealth Hunter. Like with, like with these large pieces on the thighs, and also like some other, but also curved slopes, but inwards, but also on the sides of the legs. Which, same with the uh, Sky Guardian out the following year, with these jet engine pieces on the back side, of course. <laughs> But the foot pieces are which kind of unique, and which I think probably is similar to the Grand Titan, of course, but however, done with a lot of yellow in it. And also, and of course, like the others, of which does have a pivoting kind of feature so you can get some good posability out of it. And as for this middle section, which quite compact. Lots, plenty of stuff going on. Like, do get some more, or I mean, some other curved slope pieces with stickers on them, and also a little thing with this one: good symmetry for that, which it kind of applies to this whole set, of course. And also, like these, like red trunk, translucent red cone pieces there, as good ammunition to there. And also, unlike some of the sets, well, except for the. Uh, Sky Strike, or whatever that came in the Sentai Fortress, well, at least does have some Technic beams or Technic bits that hold the cockpit piece in, and they're like we, which we also see on some uh, Star Wars sets that fall a couple years after. But yeah, but, and of course, like that set can uh, flip it open, and also like most of the other sets. Can, can kind of see the light brick in there, and 
also those uh, rock bits with studs on them where you can like put your Takeshi minifig into and close this open and fits quite well for that. And also, as for the arms of which, also perfect symmetry to them, except for the fiber optic cable going down into it. But whereas for the arm itself, which has some good snot bits onto it, like both on the front part of it, kind of representing a bicep or something, and also a uh, curved slope on the side as well. But then downwards, get a larger uh, curved slope like on the legs, but with a different sticker on it. And also another cone piece that leads out to it. And whereas for the hands, of which comprise it mostly uh, arm pieces from the Devastator robots. But however, it still uses actual fingers, like most, like we see on most mechs of today. And but also as you know, holding a actual rifle made of with two barrels, but made comprised of like uh, of support pieces and some technique bits holding on to those. Also, a witch. Which also on the back side, do you have like most of the other mechs where you can push up and light up the light brick, like as you can see there, but like kind of barely much as it travels through the fiber optic cable. Whoops! And lights it up. But at least this which is still working quite a bit, a little bit for that. Above a witch it does have plenty of these other fin pieces and also a couple curved slopes for that. Also, like some others. But as for the other armor, which completely symmetrical, but this one slope, which has there's some numbering on it, of course. But as for this, and instead of a gun, it's holding this large staff here, which you can take off like so. And also how this, which is me, oh, which is quite interesting. Like, as you can see, oh, come on. Okay, and so now for the staff bit, like this top part, which is has technic pieces and holding a couple of like uh, small curb slopes onto it, and also yellow cone representing a power source and technic rods going down. And holding at the bottom part is the sword of Vladik from the Knight's Kingdom line, of course. So very interesting seeing that piece used there. And so this set as a whole, quite interesting for that. And that's about it with the supernova. And now on to the golden titan, or the golden guardian, rather. Which, as you see, from first glance, well, from first glance, which looks almost sort of it like some of the other, uh, or almost like some of the mechs of the line, but the only difference is it has a lot of bulk to it, like in some areas. Like for the legs of it. Or the feet are mostly those like curved slopes and other, and or just large jagged slopes and other jagged slopes as well. And for the thighs of which, would have quite some bulk to them, like these large slope kind of bits to them, like on both sides. 
tracks for that and these tubes going into them. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but and also these smaller slopes with golden stickers on it, which are kind of cool for that. It has for the FISA, which is kind of similar to most mechs, but it says the longer ones with a couple of cheap slopes in there. It has for the cockpit, cockpit section as quite similar to most of the mechs that there are. And also the same cockpit piece as some of them kind of did. And also this tile piece that holds a coat on it for the website that is no longer valid, of course. And also, you can flip right upwards. And also, as you can see, a double ball joint holder piece is to hold the wing bits on it. Kind of quite interesting and different than most of them. And of course. Do have a couple of studs on there enough to fit your Hikaru or Hayato minifig into. Although some of these do kind of fall off a bit. Oh, okay. Let me. Unless if you put Hayato's arms forward, still fit in like so. And as you see, it does go on well. And for the lower part of which comprised of a, another jagged slope on there, or large jagged slope, of course. And so now for the arms of which comprise of mostly like two different ball joints, as you can see there. But this one in particular goes down to a couple of Technic bits comprised to a couple of panels acting as a shield. And it's quite a large one. And of course does have these large gold reflective gold stickers onto them, of course. But as for the other armor, which not at all any joints in it, it's except for in the arm, of course. And also Quite a bit of greebling going on on this side of which, but on the other side of which, does have a classic spring load launcher bit. Which if you put a missile in there and also fire it off like so. Which forgot to add the missile in it for this review, but I'm sure you all know how that goes. But also the support piece going on to here, and also you get this large. Uh, support, large support kind of piece going on here, but in gold, and also a little sticker on it, it's kind of interesting. And also, and a couple of extra neat bits on the end of it, of course. And so for the top flap kind of wing, wing-like bits, they're comprised mostly from the large curved slope kind of piece there. Used for like canopies of some ships, of course. And also a couple of missile like bits to it comprised of cones, but just for show, oh, of course. And also, like some of the others, do get these like little flat fin pieces, of course. Although, still feel, oh, making it still feel like uh, some Gundams, of course. As for the back side of which, quite plain for that, but you can at least you can kind of see how the leg builds are kind of like with all these Technic bits and the tubes behind, but at least you still get some good posability out of that, of course. So now for my overall verdict to this. <clears throat> so overall, I think these of which are quite cool sets. Like for both their times and still well hold up. And also like both of their set names, which are well fitting to that.
Although I think the Golden Guardian of Witch, I think, could have had a bit more gold to him. But maybe gold wasn't very much of a color as far as I go at the time, of course. But but also, but aside from that, I think kind of bulky for hands. But, well, it's a mech, maybe. Sometimes could can be bulky if it was to be, but yeah. Although both of which are quite bulky, but Golden Guardian quite a lot more than that. But whereas both of their features quite fun for that. But also for the supernova, good that it kinda of stood out a bit, like with the posable fingers and also the canopy kinda of area. Kinda of unique and different than some of the mechs from the time. And, but as but however, at least can at least they, they do have some unique building bits to them and also good values for the prices that they were for like fifteen to twenty dollars back at the time. But yeah. And so now if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, well, if you can get them or still get them anywhere then definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.